Welcome to Cancun, Mexico. This is what greets you when you first arrive. It's probably one of the longest customs lines you'll ever have to wait in. But don't worry, it'll get better soon. How are you? Good. Excited? After you take your shuttle ride from the airport, you're greeted at the gate of the Grand Palladium Hotel and Resort. It's a little over a half hour shuttle ride from the airport to the Grand Palladium. This video is going to show you almost everything there is at the Grand Palladium. From the check-in, to shopping, to the restaurants, and to the nightlife. You're going to see just how wonderful a hotel it is. This hotel is one of the most unique entrances I think I've ever seen in a hotel. As you can see by the artistic design shown here. Once you arrive, the porters will hold your bag here at the front while you go check in. The grounds near the front entrance are absolutely beautiful. As you will soon see, there is water everywhere around this hotel. The lobby is just gorgeous and spacious. Check-in is pretty quick for the most part. It might take you about 15 or 20 minutes. You will want to make your dinner reservations immediately after checking in. There will also be a representative from the Palladium Club. It's your choice whether you want to sit down and talk to them or not. Directly next to the check-in is the lobby bar and lounge, which is beautiful. After check-in, it's time to collect your family and your bags. The resort will provide you a porter that will take you and your bags to your room via a golf cart. Your porter will explain everything you see on the way to your room via the golf cart. As you'll see from the golf cart, the grounds are immaculate and just gorgeous. They also have electric water taxis that'll take you from dock to dock. Once you arrive in your room, one of the first things you'll probably want to do is go to the balcony and check out your views. We stayed in the loft jacuzzi suite, and we have another video that you can watch that specifically just gives you a tour of that. Just click above to view that video. From the side of our building, you can see the Zentropia Spa to the left, and you can also see the beach pool and bar. If you're like us, one of the first things you're going to want to do after checking into your room is check out the beach. But on your way to the beach, be sure to check out the beach pool. To us, this is one of our favorite pools of the entire resort. We'll show you a little bit more about this pool later on in the video. Be sure to grab a drink at the beach pool bar before heading on to the beach. This was also our favorite pool bar, mainly because of the server, Anna. She was fantastic. Now on to the beach. By the time we got checked in, got settled into our room, and made our way to the beach, it was already dusk. This will give you a little bit of a taste of what it's like that time of the day. You'll notice a little seaweed on the beach, but they clean that up every single morning. After our little beach tour, we caught a ride on a golf cart and decided to check out the rest of the resort. Just so you understand, this resort is huge. You will want to take golf carts to most places because it would be a lot of walking otherwise. The building to the right is building 13, which is where we stayed.
Our first stop was the Village Mall. Here they have a beautiful Catholic church that they use for weddings and it's also available for services on Sundays. The Village Mall also features a collection of stores, restaurants, coffee shops. It's the center of nightlife as well. One of the areas we want to cover first is a selection of restaurants available to you at the resort. We only stayed for four nights, so we weren't able to go to all of them, but we did hit most of them. Our first and one of our favorites is not really a restaurant, but it's the coffee shop, the Piacere Bar. They have a great selection of lattes, cappuccinos, anything you want, including pastries and sweets. It's a great place to lounge, unwind, and relax. There's sort of a clock slash bicycle theme in this coffee shop. The first restaurant we're going to tour is called the Portofino Italian Restaurant. We enjoyed it very much, but something to keep in mind is that the portions are not as big as what you would typically expect from an Italian restaurant. If you're hungry, you may find yourself ordering one or two entrees. But overall, the food was good and we enjoyed the atmosphere as well. Our next stop was the Extra Time Sports Bar. Reservations are not required and it's good for lunch or dinner. It is also open pretty late from what I recall. For a sports bar, I found the beer choices were a little limited as they only have Dos Equis. The next restaurant is one of our favorites, Some Teori. You have the option of a sit-down meal or a teppanyaki table. As you can see, we opted for the teppanyaki. It was quite a show and extremely enjoyable. This wasn't just a show either, the food was fantastic. The steak and the shrimp were really enjoyable. Next up is Beach Club Poseidon. This is the best place to go for lunch as it's closest to the beach. It's a great atmosphere as it's near the beach and they have live entertainment while you're eating as well. The buffet features a dizzying array of choices, as there's pretty much everything you could possibly want in here. They also show off a lot of wines, but you gotta pay for the good ones. They have a pretty cool donut wall that you can choose from as well. My favorite part, of course, are the desserts. And they also have ice cream cones and sundaes as well. When eating here, it's very likely that you may have an extra guest join you at your table. These iguanas can be found all over the property. One of our absolute favorite restaurants was Chang Thai. This is located off the Village Mall and up the steps. One of the things we really enjoyed about this restaurant was the ambiance, in addition to the wonderful food. While we enjoy Thai food, our daughter doesn't. So all of the restaurants throughout the resort feature a children's menu with hamburgers and grilled cheese and chicken nuggets. So there's plenty for everybody to eat. And I suppose if you're not that adventurous of an eater, adults can order off the children's menu as well. We really enjoyed the selection of Thai food that was available at this restaurant and it was very tasty. It has a really nice bar as well, but we never had the opportunity to use it as we got seated almost immediately. Upstairs, directly across from Chang Thai, is Bar Eclipse. This is a really cool place to chill and enjoy the atmosphere of the evening, but children are not allowed. You can also see the Village Mall directly below. Our next stop is El Dorado, the resort steakhouse. The restaurant features a really good selection of wines. However, of course, you have to pay for the good ones. The atmosphere and view of the river surrounding the resort are also second to none. I was hungry, so I definitely doubled up on my steaks. You can see the chefs hard at work right here. The last restaurant we'll feature is Isla Blanca. This is the main buffet of the hotel, and it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
We had all of our breakfasts here and maybe a couple of lunches. We had dinner reservations for all the other nights. We never actually made it here for dinner. But you don't need reservations to eat here for dinner. The buffet features pretty much everything you could want. During breakfast, we tip back several mimosas pretty much daily. Next up is the Zentropia Spa. The spa is adults only, but you can see my wife and daughter walking towards it as we were just making reservations for our visit. In addition to massages and other spa treatments, they have a beautiful pool inside. The pool features an array of water treatments. You can walk up to any of the buttons within the pool, press it, and you'll get a massage of some sort, whether it's on your feet, your head, your back, or even a full body massage at one of the tables. Here's an example of one of the waterfalls that can massage your back. They also feature a hot soaking tub as well as a cold soaking tub for whatever your need is. One of the unique features of the spa was the ice cabin. I'm not sure how cold it gets in here, but it's got to be below 32 in order to keep the ice forming on the walls and the floor. I don't think most people would probably spend more than 10 minutes in here because it is pretty cold. <laughs> it's cold. The rooftop of the spa features another pool. This is a great place to relax after a massage or other spa treatment. It's usually not very crowded and you can stay up here as long as you would like. The pool features an infinity edge which overlooks the rest of the resort. You can also see our building number 13 directly behind the Brown Bridge. The other side of the rooftop pool overlooks the main spa pool, as you can see here. This will give you a little bit better visual of some of the massage areas that the spa pool offers. At the top of the spa pool, you can also check out the Healthy Habits snack bar. They have an assortment of healthy snacks and drinks. While we just visited the spa pool, there's also the Palladium Club pool on premises as well. This is a private pool only available to Palladium Club members only. If you want a pool available to you 24 seven, reserve a swim up suite. This will give you pool access directly from your room. This is the main Palladium pool, which is located directly in the center of the resort. The kids club is also located nearby. Normally this pool features a swim up bar, but today was July 4th and they had a live band playing on the top of the bar. Now to the pool where we spent most of our time, the Piscina de Playa. This pool is a little more relaxing than the main pool. It doesn't have all the people playing water games and activities and things like that. Kids can still have fun though. This pool features an infinity edge. Servers will serve you drinks directly at the edge of the pool. The reason they call it the beach pool is you can see a view of the beach directly from the pool. There's also a hot tub nearby, but quite honestly, the beach pool is about 85 degrees. This probably takes that above 90. There's a special area of the resort called Family Selection, and this is the Piscina Family Selection Pool. This pool and cafe area is only available to those that are staying in the Family Selection area. A unique aspect of the Grand Palladium is the Rafa Nadal Tennis Center. This is a place for both adults and youth to get tennis instruction. They use the same training methodology that Rafael Nadal uses. Also located inside is the Rafael Nadal Tennis Experience Museum. You can see some of the trophies he won at some of the major tennis events, as well as many of the t-shirts he wore in competition. All are original and all donated by Rafael Nadal. The museum is free, but any tennis instruction there is an extra fee for. In addition to his own donations, there were donations by other sports stars and tennis stars. You can also see other sports jerseys by other big stars. These were all signed and given to Rafael Nadal over the years.
In addition to clothing, he's been given quite a collection of shoes by other sports stars that are also signed. Outside, you can see the clay courts that are used for practice sessions and training. There is also a cafe on premises as well. Here's another glimpse of many of the clay courts that are available for training sessions. Looks like they even have some practice soccer fields as well. They even have covered clay courts to help you beat the Cancun sun. If you're not an active player, there's definitely a lounge area where you can sit down and relax and watch the uh, practices going on. We've definitely covered a lot of areas at the Grand Palladium, but where it really comes alive is at night. Not only does the resort look beautiful at night, but a lot of the action comes alive at the Village Mall after dark. There is even a bar that is right in the middle of the river. It's sunken below water level, so you have a beautiful view of the water and the boats that go by. What a great place to unwind and relax and enjoy the scenery. On certain nights, the bar even has live music. While it doesn't get a lot of action at night, the Catholic Church looks beautiful by the light of the evening. The rest of the Village Mall doesn't look bad either. One of the most popular things at the resort is the chic cabaret and restaurant. There's an extra fee to attend this show and dinner, and no children are allowed. While there is a fee to see this show, you can see it for free during their preview directly before the show starts. Just gather outside the coffee shop directly in front of the chic restaurant building. Because we're at the Grand Palladium during the 4th of July, they had a special event just for the occasion. It was open to all audiences and featured all the chic cabaret performers and singers. It took place at the Village Mall Theater. There is a dizzying array of performances that night, so sit back and enjoy just a sampling of some of the shows that we saw.
after all I've done, after all I've done, do you love me now? Do you love me now? After all. This theater was set up similar to what you'd expect from larger private functions, but it was all open and free for all guests of the hotel. The production value of the show is second to none. After the main show was over, there was time for all guests to get into the action and get on the dance floor. After all the evening festivities are over, there was no better way to get back to our room than by taking one of the electric boats. These are free to ride on and you can pick them up at any of the docks that are marked across the property. The restaurant to the right is one of the TRS restaurants that is only available to TRS guests. TRS is an adults only section of the hotel. So after the boat drops us off at the dock near our building, there's only one way to end the night. A relaxing soak in the jacuzzi tub with a little champagne. The next morning we get up and do everything all over again. We hope you enjoyed our little tour of the Grand Palladium Hotel in Costa Mujeres. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to the end of the video for links to our Grand Palladium Loft Jacuzzi Suite Tour. We also feature other videos showcasing day trips you can take from Cancun, Mexico. Thanks again, and we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. Mm -hmm.